Hi, Noel from Rittenhouse. Today we're going to discuss on your kit that you've just bought for the de-icing unit. You will receive a Honda 5.5 with the centrifugal pump attached to it. Hoses, spray bar, and a box full of parts. The parts will be in two plastic bags. One bag will consist of all the parts for your spray boom. Other bag is full of parts that you attach to your pump. You also will receive large filter, your solenoid valve, and a bottle of oil. The engines are sent without oil, so first thing you do when you unpack, remember to put the oil in. It takes 500 milliliters, which is half of this container. So what we'll do is take the stuff out of the bag for the pump, and we'll show you how to assemble it. I'm not taping it just for the purpose of this video. Okay, for the first part, after you've gotten all the parts out, we're going to assemble the suction side first. We're going to do it in different stages, try to make it a little easier for you to do. First thing you do, lay out all your parts for your suction, and then we start assembly. Close nipple first. Then your filter. On the filter, there's an arrow. Make sure the arrow always faces the pump. Make sure the filter, once you have it snugged up, that it has a slight angle to it so any product or stone or anything that you don't want run through the pump gets caught in the filter. Next thing we do is take another clothes nipple. They're all, all this part is inch and a half. Thread that in. Then we take our T. Putting that on a slight angle as well. Then we're going to take a reducer bushing. This is so that you can drain the unit. Okay, now that we've got the reducer bushing in, it's a reducer that reduces down to three-quarter inch. You grab your three-quarter inch nipple, install that. Then we need a gate valve. Install that, and last, the hose barb that you can attach your drain hose to later. Now we also need a ball valve in here to shut off the supply from the tank. So if you need to clean the filter and your tank's full, you can uh, sh stop the supply. So we add another large clothes nipple. Then we add the poly ball valve. making sure that we do not cross thread anything. And then the hose bar for the hose for the suction.
Now that takes care of the suction side of the unit. We'll go on in the next segment to show you how to do the outlet side.